Hello everyone and welcome again for my second day this week of for the word, the word for you today. Amen. God bless you. And today, today is the fifth lesson on the fishing lessons. Uh, and uh, that we did the fourth lesson yesterday. You've already been through the other three. And it's, oh my God, this stuff is really so good. It's, it's, it's got such good stuff and it's so rich. Um, I know that I'm, you know, just going through, it's, we only have a short time, but it's really filled with good uh, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And I think, you know, it might be to your advantage to go back through it again in the word for you today. But today, uh, this Friday, May 14th, we're focusing on the uh, fifth verse in the, in the book of Luke, fifth chapter. Uh, because you say so, I will. Amen. That's the fifth um, lesson today. And my prayer is that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in his sight, God, in your sight. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And so lesson five, stand on the promises of God. Ooh, that's rich right there. In the previous fishing attempt, the disciples were trusting on their own experience and ability. But this time they were trusting in Christ's promises. Put it out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch, verse 4 says. Now Jesus didn't specifically say, Peter, if you go fishing, go if you go fishing with me, I promise you a big catch. He didn't need to say it because. Uh, Peter realized that when Christ told him to go fishing and, and then go into his boat and then he told him exactly where to put down the net, there was no way he was going to come up empty. Amen. That's like with God. There's no way you come up empty. Peter experienced uh, God, uh, expected God to act. He expected him to keep his promise. When you get God and get God's presence in your boat, God's plan in your head, God's promise in your heart, you cannot fail. Amen. Maybe you're saying, that sounds great, but you don't know my circumstances. Right now I'm defeated uh, by the problem I'm experiencing and having some hard times. If you're feeling beaten by your circumstances, do this. Read your Bible. Find a specific promise from God. Start claiming it. Start expecting God to act, and you'll find his promise will inject new hope into your situation. Hallelujah. Just because you haven't solved your problem doesn't mean the solution doesn't exist. That's good right there. You might want to write that down or highlight that or something. Put it on a hat, a t-shirt, a bumper sticker. With God, success often begins at the point of failure. <laughs> Ooh, it's rich. I know you don't understand that one. But when you're at your worst point, that's when God comes in like a flood. Success begins at the point of your failure. It's after you fished all night and caught nothing. Look at that. He steps in. So the word for you today is don't give up. Try again. This time, do it with Jesus in your boat, and he will make all the difference. Amen. What a great lesson. Uh, so stand on the promises of God. That's our word for you today. God bless you is our prayer, and we want to thank you for being with us this Friday.